and along with Rain Phillips and a number of other artisans who were really supportive in coordinating this event. Rain, who uh, owns the Larches Inn and Bed and Breakfast here in Carver, was kind enough to uh, support local artisans by hosting us for this event. And all of these artisans are from around New England. And uh, this is just one more way that Rain is trying to support people's commitment to a heart-centered life and um, she does a wonderful job of that and is a huge community supporter and um, all of these artisans came out today for a first-time show which was a wonderful thing it's not quite established yet but we hope that over the years people will find out about us as we repeat this show it will grow and the community will know more about it and it will um, expand Lori Landerholm, who does glass blowing, and she was doing a demonstration today. So that's been very interesting for people to look at, as well as see her beautiful creations. I'm Lori Landerholm. I'm from Easton, Massachusetts, and I'm a glass blower and a lamp worker. And here I am making glass beads. This is glass, and I get it hot in the flame, and then I wrap it around a mandrel to make a glass bead. And I'll heat it in the flame some more, and then I can pick up another color of glass, heat that up, and add designs like dots or squiggles or anything else. Beautiful. Thank you. How did you learn to do that? I learned this in college. Yeah. I was a glass blower at Franklin Pierce College. Uh, my teacher bought a torch for the shed one day and said, "Hey, you guys want to learn how to make glass beads?" So that was it. I got hooked. So I saved up my money and bought myself a torch, <laughs> and I've been doing it ever since. Carol Weber, a, um, a local watercolor artist. Uh, most of the people are from the local area. There are a couple that came down from Vermont. Um, Circle of Sage, who does beautiful watercolors and card lines. And uh, Kathy Pollard, who weaves Native American baskets. I'm Kathy here. Pollard, and I live in Orono, Maine. And I work with um, sweetgrass and birch bark. And I make coil stitch sweetgrass baskets. The sweetgrass grows out on saltwater marshes. and. I gather it during the summertime. I gather about 500 pounds of it and bring it home and use it throughout the winter. It has to be dried and then it can be used in all different basket making processes. What was the inspiration for some of these? This is, this is a reproduction of a Maine Indian petroglyph from Machias, Maine. Those are petroglyphs are uh, pictures that are carved into stone thousands of years ago. And this one represents a female shaman or medicine These are person. It's actually called Marion. It's a vintage Swarovski color. Um, it's like almost like a black, but not quite a black. It's more like a very dark slate gray to black color. Do you want to bring that into the light for you? Or can you see it okay? Uh, my name is Donnie Garizzo. I'm with DRE Designs. I create jewelry uh, for brides and for bridal parties, mother of the bride, mother of the groom, um, using my vintage Swarovski crystals, Swarovski pearls, um, and anything else that you might want combined to make the special piece for your special day. Can I some of these out? Tell me what some of these are. 
Uh, the, this piece here, I used all the Dutrowski crystals. These are from the 1950s. These were taken out of the original packaging and I created the design from there. So it could be perfect for the bride and or the bridesmaids. These are vintage stones, which are studs that I've put into sterling silver. And any number of different colors, you can order those. I'm Esther Palmer. I live in Vermont. Um, my work is all watercolor or watercolor. Some of it's collaged. I think all of these, well this one's a little bit collaged, but they're mostly watercolor, straight watercolor. Um, my daughter gave me this yesterday, Be Yourself, and that kind of sums up what I do. To be yourself. The inspiration that comes from truly being authentic and integrated and the journey towards that and within that. My name is Julie Dean and I'm a healer. And I believe that healers are people who channel healing energy. Healers don't actually do the healing. They open themselves up, they ask for guidance, and the healing comes through them. And a true healer asks for the highest and best for the person. They don't suppose to know what's the best thing. They ask for the guidance and the energy comes through. Our foundation provides money for alternative healing. It's not covered by insurance. And uh, there are many people who would love to use alternative healing, but they can't afford it. The inspiration for the show is to bring together a group of heart-centered artists. I think everyone here, you can see by what they do, that they're working from the heart and they're producing something that they just want to share a part of who they are with other people. And so that's what we started in. We hope this is the first annual. It seems like people found us today. <laughs> authentic images from uh, our local scenery and uh, I've traveled a little bit too um, but most of the time it's when I return from a trip that I like to start reacquaint myself with the local area of Illyria because I feel we live in such a beautiful spot and um, some of my work is also leans more towards a spiritual side there are some spiritual and inspirational messages in them this one here for example is probably my most precious uh, sentimental shot because it was taken just a couple of days after uh, my youngest brother and very good friend went to heaven and I could feel his energy still present and I wanted to capture it and I was hoping I would capture the essence of the, the great energy and great positive spirit that he was. The reason I mainly do black and white and sepia is because I feel like it captures a universal mood perhaps a little bit better than color and I have a few color images that are all about color but um, for the most part, I'm trying to capture uh, universal emotion that everybody can identify with. 